Hey guys, it's Phase 1. In this video, you'll learn all you need to know about the new medical gameplay in Star Citizen Alpha 3.15 and beyond. If you're new to this channel, we do all kinds of Star Citizen content, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss out on new videos. Also, do me a favor and hit the like button and share this video with a few of your friends if you find this video useful. I also stream on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So if you have any questions or just want to hang out, you can leave me a follow there as well. All my links are down below. And without any further ado, let's get into it. To get started, I highly suggest setting your respawn point at your local orbital station. In 315, Port Alistar doesn't have a tier 2 medical facility, but you can do this at Everest Harbor for Lorville. Virginia Point for Art Corp and Port Treslar for New Babbitt. This way you can leave the station without having to deal with traveling through atmosphere while still having access to all your items at the major location. To do this head over to the hospital and at the regeneration terminal set your spawn point. In 315 and beyond, the player character's health status comprises of each limb having their own individual status. Each limb has the potential of sustaining various levels of injuries. As a player gets hurt or injured, there is a potential of sustaining health effects such as bleeding, blur vision, or even partial paralysis to limbs. In the scenario when a player's health points reach a zero, in most cases they will enter into an incapacitated state depending on the amount of damage they sustained. At this point, the player or NPC will need assistance from others. Once revived, the player may have sustained an injury. The player will need a medical bed to address these injuries. But before arriving at a medical bed, there are a few medical treatments that can be performed to help mitigate the negative effects of injuries. In 315 and beyond, there are a few med pens you need to be aware of. Imazol is the med pen. It stops bleeding and restores health points. The Rosafin is opio pen, which addresses symptoms associated with impaired mobility and partial paralysis. The Mexatrin is the Adrena pen, which addresses muscle fatigue and symptoms related to concussions. Sterogen is the cortical pen, which addresses muscle weakness and respiratory damage. Resurgera is a detox pen. It gradually stabilizes the blood drug level and removes the effects of an overdose, which is a drunk locomotion. You can find these med pens at the pharmacy terminal. To use a med pen, hit C to equip it. You can hold C to select one if you have multiples and left click to use it on yourself and right click to use it on a friend. Multi-tools are a great way of addressing medical needs as well. To use a multi-tool as a medical device, you need to have a lifeguard medical attachment installed. This medical attachment has finite amount of the Cure Life Pankea gel, so it's good to bring extra refills. To pull it out, you need to hit 4 or hold any number between 1 through 4 and select a device. If it doesn't have a Cure Life Pankea gel attached already, you can do this by dragging and dropping it from your inventory to the multi-tool or customizing it whilst it's in your hand. The UI is fairly straightforward. On the left is your multi-tool's battery power. On the top right is the amount of gel in the attached refill canister. And the bottom icon provides status details on your patient. When it's not pointed at a target, it will display an X. Once pointed at a target, it will reveal information about the status of the character. In this example, each body part has its own individual health status. You can see it provides health details on a torso and it will list any potential injuries here. On the right hand side, it will provide a holistic snapshot of the current health status of the character, including the drug levels in the bloodstream. When assessing a player, the specific limb will be highlighted with the color indicating the current status. Green means it's in optimal health condition. Blue, pink, and purple means it needs medical attention. You can use it by left clicking. On initiation, it will stop the bleeding, then begin to heal the character. 
you can use the tool on yourself with the B key bind. When a player is incapacitated, they can be revived with the multi-tool, the Cure Life Medical Gun, and the MediPen. You can find a multi-tool medical attachment at the pharmacy terminal as well. The Cure Life Medical Gun works the same way as a multi-tool, but with a few differences. It provides more detail about the patient and provides advanced mode to allow you to administer specific drugs. It also refills with the Paramed refill valve. Just a quick breakdown of the UI of the Cure Life Medical Gun. The very top is your toggle from basic to advanced mode. The health status of the character, the amount of gel you have available, and the blood drug level is found here. You can toggle the advanced mode by holding F and left clicking the toggle like this. Advanced mode gives you more control on the amount of dosage of each drug you want to administer. You can see the blood drug level here. Once you cross the line, then you will overdose the character. You can adjust each drug by dragging the levels to the right. On the right hand side, you can see the amount of time it will last for. Just keep in mind that if you raise the blood drug level above 75%, it will overdose the character. To reset to the default setting, you can clear and auto will automatically set the required drugs to administer. The Cure Life Medical Gun is found at the pharmacy terminal as well. MedPens, Multi-Tools and the Cure Life Medical Gun are just temporary solutions for an injured player. Eventually, you need to make your way to a medical bed. You can find a hospital at major landing zones like Orison, New Babbage, Area 18 and eventually Lowerville. There are three tiers of medical beds. Tier 1 are in hospitals. Tier 2 are in medical centers in space stations and the Anvil Carrick. And Tier 3 are beds similar to the Cutlass Red. Also, there are three tiers of injuries a player can sustain, with Tier 1 being the worst. So in order to treat all tiers of injuries, you need to go to a Tier 1 facility, like a hospital. While Tier 2 facilities can handle Tier 2, and three injuries and so on. Specific to hospitals, you can find dedicated elevators to drop off severely injured friends in all hangars. These elevators will take you directly to hospitals. Gurneys are also available if needed. Upon arrival, you need to check in a room Once in a room, you have access to a medical bed. The medical beds are pretty straightforward. As soon as you lay down, it will restore your health points to a certain point depending on your injuries. Click medical care if you have injuries or symptoms of injuries. Here you have a holistic view of your health status. The treatment tab will allow you to address any sustained injuries such as broken limbs. The medication tab gives you the option to administer any drugs to alleviate symptoms. The dosages are automatically set by default. You can also dictate the amount manually as well. Just make sure you don't overdose yourself. Did you find this guide useful? Let me know in the comments below. If there's anything in this video that you like, make sure to leave a like and share this video with a few friends. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more. I will see you on the next one.